as soon as I found my stride in clay, my passion, I envisioned myself primarily as a growing artist. And then at some point, this other huge passion came into my life and my brain didn't really know how to mediate that. I grew up in Puerto Rico and I started engineering, God knows why, after I finished high school. So while I was struggling in all these, you know, hardcore courses, I was painting and decorating and just using my hands nonstop. That started a conversation with my parents because I was really worried about not meeting their expectations. And eventually we decided together that I really wanted to pursue a life in art and so so I switched. Then it was a matter of establishing this new vision of okay what type of artist am I gonna be? Because I started with painting and just general training and when I found clay I could I could finally shift that kind of childhood notion to okay I know this is exactly what I want to do. I oftentimes jumpstart these compositions with, with a specific notion. Sometimes it has to do with things specific to my culture or my family. But I'm always looking to find that little line between what it is I need to say for myself and how considerate I need to be with the community at large that will be experiencing the work. A friend had been going to a place called Alfred, and Alfred is New York State College of Ceramics in upstate New York. In my mind, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna do this degree and come back and teach in Puerto Rico. And of course, you know, I got married and I started another residency and essentially started a career here. 15 years ago, our daughter Paloma came along so we moved to Panland when she was a year old. Okay? And then in 2007, I had Eva. You're missing one. I envisioned myself primarily as a growing artist. And then at some point, this other huge passion came into my life. And then that identity had to shift to include a growing artist that is a partner and a mother. I just overworked things and got things wrong in terms of how I wanted to be there for my kids and had to like backtrack. Like it was like an all or nothing thing, like, oh God, I messed this up or. Something that I wish somebody would have told me is that it's okay, you know? So long as you're catching it every so often and making adjustments, it's fine. You haven't broken anything permanently. Something that doesn't get shared as much is the, the failures we go through as artists, as human beings. Because you know, usually you want to showcase your best. But something I wish I could have kept more present, it would have been the ratio of failures to successes. A good lesson for me is to not see life as this chain of sprints and just see it as this long, flowing marathon, you know? When you see it, you know, in the long term, then you're more forgiving and that's, that has been that has been good. It's given me more peace. <laughs> 